Hi, babies. So I'm really feeling the pressure to get this real estate deal off the ground. I need an income stream. I mean, we have a big wedding, not only to plan for, but to pay for. And I don't really want to tell her that we're underwater right now. Yo, straight up, I can't believe this title just as much as you can't, but we're in this together, okay? We started this freaking journey with Big Ed on this channel almost five years ago, and damn it, we're gonna continue. There's a new season with him on 90 Day Fiance, and we're gonna get right on into it. Let's not waste too much time. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoy my Big Ed videos and you're excited for a new season, and subscribe if you haven't already. But anyways, let's get right on into it. Ed. I told you, you weren't allowed to get one of these. That's right. The man is making his freaking appearance back, and we got Southern Cowboy Arc Big Ed. I don't know if this dude played Red Dead 2 once and realized what a masterpiece that video game is, but maybe he's just really embracing this Southern aesthetic as they have moved down to his hometown in Arkansas. And I mean, contrary to my last video where I'm pretty sure they were broken up, maybe they were just baiting us into getting excited for this new season and I just fell for the trap because they seem to be together and happy in this episode. But let's see if this is maybe filmed well before those events. You guys already know where I stand on this though. I'm definitely preying on their downfall when it comes to their relationship. Let's be real. But seriously, this is your brother's? It is. Okay. What's wrong with the one that we have? Well, it's a little small. Because you actually have to work to push it? Yes, and I was sweating way too much. <laughs> so he's getting started off just getting called out for uh, not wanting to do a push mower. I mean, have you seen the build of this guy? He even invites Liz's daughter, who was living with them for this portion of the season, onto this riding mower that he borrowed from his brother, which I guess it's cool that he lives next to his family now and can mooch things off of them. But Big Ed, safe to say, has not continued his fitness arc that he was on, I don't even know, like two seasons, three seasons ago, because this man is really developing, let's just say. All right, in another universe, he's trying to mine a sand planet of of all their crazy sand space air and he has a pack on his back that lets him float and he takes oil baths okay this dude is literally built like baron harkonnen but i'm not gonna harp on that you know what i'm saying we might share a closer build than i like to admit so let's just keep going and see what the hell's going on with these two in this season man i'm definitely living the dream out here in arkansas we have a beautiful house my daughter riley She's going to be here the whole summer. Liz just said her daughter Riley is going to be with them this whole summer. So hopefully there's no big fights. That's all I can say. Like if we see a different side of Ed here in this episode and he actually takes on this, you know, parental role seriously, which I don't expect him to be able to do, that might be a nice twist for this season. But honestly, I am just going to be heartbroken if they end up being super messy and fighting, especially in the presence of her. Like that's just not something that should be done. So hopefully TLC is watching out for that and uh, they don't get into too much trouble. We have finally set a wedding date. In two months, we are getting married. Holy. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh my God. And she actually looks, she looks excited, y'all. She looks so excited to get married and I really cannot even put myself in those shoes. She admits that she gave up her steak in the restaurant, which I was wondering about that. If you guys remembered from last season or before the, um, you know, whole season where they were doing quote therapy in the Florida Keys or whatever the hell that was when they were actually focusing on these two back home, she was getting this offer to basically be a partner in this super fancy restaurant. And she gave that up in order to live this lifestyle with Big Ed, where he goes around, not even able to push their push mower, uh, in their backyard of their home in Arkansas. So God, Dang, I really just can't say that Liz is on a good path right now, but maybe that's just me being a hater. I was in love with Liz since the day I met her. I didn't like Ed when I met him. I really didn't um, place a lot of confidence in her and I ever becoming. Yeah, that makes two of us. In fact, I'm pretty sure that makes hundreds of thousands of us because yeah, Ed, everybody who's watched your sorry ass excuse for a relationship really didn't even put any stock into it existing in the first place, let alone when it did start. We didn't expect it to last longer than most quarantine relationships. I mean, let's be real. If you did get with somebody and then break up with them since, you know, all that happened, you pretty much suck at love worse than Big Ed. Like, what does that say about you? Hold this L. We still did not have anything figured out. Liz and I were constantly, you know, would make up and break up. And we even tried the intensive therapy that we went to in Florida. So they're reflecting on their relationship. And man, it is so weird to see these two in this flashback clip of uh, that first kiss, which is still so painful to think about. That is seriously one of the highlights of my channel, though, was reacting to that episode. So if you were around during those times, you're an OG and I absolutely love the hell out of you. But yeah, then they talk about his, quote, therapy and he starts bragging about how far he's come. I don't know if they've done any therapy outside of that last season of 90 Day, The Last Resort, but you've seen me cover that. I made like eight videos on it. These two did not do jack shit for therapy, OK? This guy thought that he was some sort 
sort of leprechaun from the 1500s that was in a circus, and that was the extent of him going through therapy. Instead, Liz is making mental gymnastics and making loopholes for him in order to be a shitty person again so that he doesn't actually have to make any progress on himself. So I think all of this is just a facade, and we're going to see that start to fade away as this season goes on. We're going to see the real Ed come out to play. Is what saved our relationship. You have matured so much. God, I hate these two. She always gives him compliments and tries to gas him up when he does not deserve it. And he just sits there like a little puppy blinking like, oh, I'm I'm doing better. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, you know, I've done a lot of progress with therapy. So I, I did body regression in the, at that resort. And then remember, I yelled at you and made you cry and didn't defend you when Angela almost knocked you out in a fight. But besides that, I've really been better. So I'm glad you agree. Like, shut the hell up with that face, Ed. You're saying more than words ever could. OK, so can somebody read the instructions? There is no instruction, so you just make bracelets. Oh, okay, great. So I gotta say, there is a side to Ed that pops up in this episode when we see him around Liz's daughter, where honestly, we see a soft side to him and we see what he might have been like as a younger dad. You know, he's got a daughter of his own who I think is still sadly estranged from him, but she's in her 20s or 30s. So maybe this is his chance to revisit being a parent. But again, I am just really worried that these two are gonna be fighting in front of this girl, and that's no bueno. So I'm marrying your mommy. I want to be your stepdad. Okay. Would you be okay with that? Yeah. That's so cap, dude. If the cameras weren't here, I'm sorry. I would be saying no. Even with the cameras there, I'd be like, hell no, bro. Have you seen yourself? Like, this girl's got to be in what, like fourth or fifth grade? Yeah, they all got phones by then. They've been seeing all these videos on her stepdad uh, on YouTube and everything. Like, just getting clowned on. It's like, no, I don't want you to be my stepdad, bro, please. She's silly. She's Mommy. Yes. Yes. But no, for real, there is this strange, actual, like, calmness to their family right now on this show. I don't know what the hell's going on, because they seem to be just in this tumultuous, rocky, you know, relationship every single second of the day. But right now, it seems like things might be going kind of smoothly, which I was not expecting when I heard that Big Ed was on a new season of 90 Day. I'm trying to navigate having Riley live here, making sure that Liz is happy and planning the wedding. And when we get stressed, that's when we argued. So Ed starts to talk about how stressful it is. He's got to plan this extravagant wedding that nobody's asking him to have. Like literally you don't need to spend that much on a wedding. I'm sorry if you did and you could afford it. That's awesome. But if you go into debt for a crazy wedding, you're insane in my opinion like seriously that is just nuts i'd rather go on a insane vacation or buy i don't know like one chrome hearts belt instead of some extravagant ass wedding which i know they're going to be so over the top with this even though <laughs> i think it's ed's second i think it's both of their second marriages so hopefully it's the last one for these two but yeah he is really stressed and i it sounds like he's gonna start letting that stress make his side come out a little bit more and he's gonna start really being contentious with Liz that is my prediction for this season that's what this whole episode is gonna be is like what I think the season's gonna be so I hope you come back at the end of this season and I'm correct on everything or hopefully I'm wrong actually and they end up happily ever after because honestly at this point that's the only thing that will get them off our TV screens <laughs> so here in Bentonville Liz and I are planning on state boards to become real tours so we can start working as a team to list homes and sell homes so yeah now we're getting to what they're actually doing down here in arkansas because he can't just be whatever he was a photographer or whatever and she can't be a partner of this restaurant anymore because she doesn't live there so they both decided to become real estate agents which <laughs> i might offend some of my audience right now that are real estate agents but to me the most shitty annoying people from my high school went on to become real estate agents and i don't know i just feel like secretly under that profession lies the most amount of chodes out there that are just like not fun people to be around maybe it's because i just hate landlords in general but it's just funny that they're you know falling into this role right now i wish them all the best of success but it's crazy that they're just making this career change together and i think it's insane that they think they're going to be able to work together properly without wanting to completely go at each other's necks 24 7. Oh, would you like to buy a house yes i'm ed ed and i need some practice dealing with clients so we are going to do a practice house tour. So they have this cute segment actually where they're trying to practice showing houses. So they end up showing a house to her daughter, their house, AKA, and uh, it is just really adorable. I got to give Big Ed props. It seems like when it comes to the family dynamic and maybe having uh, his, you know, quote, stepdaughter, I guess if you can call her that already there, I do think that's helping their relationship and helping cover up a little bit of this messiness that causes a lot of their fights. But still, all those are deeply rooted in Big Ed's insecurities and those don't go away just because he's being a dad all of a sudden you know what i'm saying yeah i'm gonna need more time to really make sure that he's reformed before i actually start giving him props 
And they go on a little flashback here as well of the last time that Big Ed and Liz worked together in a semi-professional setting. It was literally him trying to teach her how to take photos because he was a photographer. And remember, it ended up with him flirting with her hot best friend slash pissing Liz off and making her storm off, causing another breakup slash fight. So yeah, I don't know how they think they're going to avoid this when they're working together as their main career now, but I'm excited for the fireworks. Let me tell you. How did we do? And be honest. Mommy should have done some of the talking. <laughs> I mean, she should have done some of the talking. And shocker, they asked the daughter for a review, and it just sounds like Big Ed didn't shut the hell up the whole time. So it sounds like he's just going to be yapping people's ears off every time he tries to sell a house, which good luck with that strategy, dude. People are going to want to ask questions, and instead he's going to be talking about himself and the house. Oh, man, I already know it would just be a headache to go on a showing with this guy. We've kind of been living on savings. I mean, we have a big wedding, not only to plan for, but to pay for. And I don't really want to tell her that we're underwater right now. So this is the bombshell that's dropped at the end of this episode. Big Ed admits they're underwater, which I take as him saying he's effectively broke or maybe facing a lot of debt. And he doesn't know how he's going to pay for this, you know, new life of theirs, this wedding, all of that. And I really do think this stress is going to lead to Big Ed's worst moments, if I can be honest. Like every season, he seems to outdo himself in terms of the shitness and just the pettiness and annoying nature of his actions. And I think this season we're going to see new heights, but I'm hoping I'm wrong because again, Liz's daughter is here now. So we got a new element in the mix where I am now actually hoping that they work out because I'm seeing, you know, I'm putting a, a face to the name and I do feel bad for that girl that she has to live in this environment when they're fighting. So let me know what you thought of this one down in the comments below. Not super meaty of like drama or anything, but I'm kind of shocked that they already are on a new season. So let me know what you thought. As always, thanks for making it to the very end of the video. Comment Grim Squad for life if you did and make sure to like and drop a subscription and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my future uploads for this series or any of my other series I do. As always, catch you guys in the next one and until next time, Next time, peace out.